siguro sa mga young ano, generation, take time to appreciate culture and arts. These are the things na neglected lang sa society. And it is our part of our identity as people. No? Hello, good morning everyone. We are 1B, which stands for One Barcada, from the program of Physical Therapy. And currently, we're here with Sir Nino Sepulveda in his resort, uh, La Vida Po, um, in the Island Garden City of Samal. Sir Sepulveda is a well-known artist who has created over 200 paintings where his work specializes in nature and ano, uh, body figures, human figures. human figures. And with his works featured around in many exhibits like the Sunoy in ano, 2017, mm -hmm. and in 2018, I believe. So, before we start with the questions, po, I would like to extend our thanks as a group uh, for, for giving us this opportunity to uh, have this interview and this, uh, this conversation. Mm -hmm. So, let's start with the questions. Now. <laughs> so, first of all, uh, can you please uh, ano, describe your childhood book? Like, what kind of a daughter, hi daughter, <laughs> what kind of a son you were to your family po, and how that affected your ano, po, your uh, inspiration towards art? Po. Well, growing up, I was really interested in art. I really like to, when traveling, I really like to go to museums, exhibits, well, on the side, also markets, because I like to see what people are eating in that place. It's really more on culture and the arts. And surprisingly, I started painting only in 2016 after I, uh, I revived from my work. And I took a workshop. And of course, I need to learn the basics, the techniques, and what to use, the mediums. And then over time, I realized that I enjoy painting. So when first getting into uh, art, po, hindi po kayo na intimidate sa mga ibang artists na uh, very magaling na sila. You know, no, of, because I have, I'm yeah. already a, an art collector before. So I started with that. But then one time, my friend told me, why are you not painting your own work? And then I realized, okay, sige nga, let's try. I like that one. Oh, but still, I, I also appreciate other people's work. And I, I also have my collection of art from local artists and also from Ibang Lugar because yan na nga, I also appreciate I ganan ako mag ano, iba iba ang kapitita So ano po, um, how old are, are you po when you're already ano po? Are there impatient in art scene? Because you're already po Maybe you mentioned in your art Siguro Kali so in like some early ages, but not like surprisingly, no. Mm -hmm. Well, we have your art class elementary. Oh, Pero well, my back, my art that time was you know kids art. And in college, dinala ako ng pinsan ko sa one of the exhibits ng. Uh, Philippine Women's College. Ah, Meron sila fine arts na show. Uh, uh -oh. And then I was amazed the works nila. I even got ano, one of the works. And doon. Pero I did not have the time kasi nga, I'm also studying and I really cannot focus doing it. But. Oh. Sabihin na lang natin late bloomer. <laughs> yung kasi po born niya ba is also inclined with arts? No, so, no. Are like, may mga ibang family members po ba kaya na, na, na artistically inclined din? Na may, ano. Surprisingly, wala. Oh. So, nabanggit po kanina, so yung college po po na discover yung ano po po sa So, ano po? How did your parents uh, respond to your talent? Ah! Um, uh, Okay lang naman sila because ano, na surprise din sila na now I am already, uh, already joining shows and I even had my third solo show last uh, December and 
amazing. Now I'm planning my siguro my fourth show siguro in two years time. Because I also have a lot of commitments there this time. Yes, yes. So as mentioned to kanina, di ba, for the whole week, you are pa kayo. Were there, uh, aside from sa mga ano po, uh, sa mga di ba, as mentioned kanina, join pa kayo ng mga uh, workshop, program, were there anything else na that helped you develop your sense of art po, saka skill, aside from sa mga workshops po? Well, in any field naman, we all need our mentors. And Dadai Joaquin uh, taught me the basics of painting. He's one of the artists in Dabao also. And well, from time to time, I asked her some of the things. And, pero it's like any other sport or skill. For example, swimming. You really have to swim daily to become an Olympic swimmer, right? So you have it's it's about practice to be master at any. Or any skill that you like to develop. So, ganyan lang yan. So, like painting, you really have to give your time. At least, siguro, one hour a day. Yun rin po kinagawa. Studio time ka talaga if you want to master. Oo, oh, invest talaga. So, presentation is question, sir. So, na bangit niyo po, bago lang na may mentor po kayo. So, aside sa mentor po, do you have your idols po? Na yung painting, in painting, aside from your mentor, the mga inspirations. Yeah, I like ano naman, Van Gogh and siguro Rembrandt. They're mostly Dutch artists. And I also like mga expressionist na nasa, well, mga British. There's one particular artist I follow on Instagram also. I just forgot the name, but I really like his work. His style naman niya is yearly sa mga body but the faces are more mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Bordering. So, ano po, uh, among the, ano, di ba as mentioned by mga, ano, di ba, mga idols po tayo when it comes to uh, art. So, do you have like any ano, po, favorite art pieces from them? Po? Like, for example, sa kay Van Gogh, yung Starry Night or something. Yeah, the sunflowers, particularly. It's really pleasing to the eye. I have seen it live. Well, one of my trips in Tokyo, nagkataon na my moving show si Van Gogh in Japan. And it was really amazing. And also, if you have the chance to visit our Amor Solo, it's in our National Museum in Manila, and the museum is free for everybody to enjoy. So, atin yung collection na yan, and you also have your Scholarium by Luna. It's a massive painting. So, if you have time to visit Manila, do not miss our National Museum, kasi nandoon na house lahat gawa ng ating mga Filipino masters na equally world-class painters. Kasi kikita lang po, kasi natin sa mga ano, yes, sa online. Yes, kasi katalog lang. So, I think it's really nice to see it. Very so important much. piece ito si Espolario ng Rabe. It's like siguro mga 12 if not 18 plywoods na buo. Ganyan siya kalaki. It's really amazing. Sir, ano po ang um, ito? Um, ano po ang ano nyo po? Point of view sa mga nakapakano po ba? Ang iba kasi po, kasi tawag niya Spoliari yun. Ang iba naman Spoliari yun. So ano po para sa inyo yung ano? Um, I really don't know what is correct, but uh, I think it's Spoliari yun. How do you pronounce it? Spoliari yun. I don't know. Spoliari yun. O baka Espanyol, so, iba pag pronounce it. Parang ng ano nila ba? May interchange yung ano. Kasi... Sige, mag-research tayo niya. <laughs> Last night ko lang siya matapos. And this word, I titled this word, ano, Lo siento. It means I'm sorry. 
I just want to capture the emotion ng makita ko siya. And, well, I just changed the suot niya. Pero the emotion, the feeling niya that time. So this is also oil work. This is 24 by 36 ano, inches. Or in short, 2 by 3 feet. For the information of ano, for the benefit of ano, no, educational input, this is called gallery wrap canvas. Gallery wrap. Uh, sometimes it's called box canvas. Mm -hmm. There are collectors or artists or homeowners who prefer in ani lang ilahang ihang sa wall. Dili na nila ipa frame. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is just an option. Some of the exhibits makita ninyo anywhere mo mag, na, makita na show na ay gallery wrap canvas ay wala lagi naka frame iyang work. That is also to give the buyer for example the luxury to choose framing niya later. Oh, Ayan iba. Ay, ayaw ko man yung brown na frame kasi brown ang wall ng sa bahay ko or oh, office okay. ko. Diba? So, if that ano uh, siya na bahala magpa-frame or gusto ba niya gold, whatever. Otherwise, may naka-frame na ng mga artworks na just like the next one. This one is also inspired by a photograph. So, kita ko ang bata nag-rest sa ano, I have to make my own interpretation. So, I titled this one Siesta. Yes, Kulay ang bata. This is oil work and it's been framed kasi nga na show ito. We also have an upcoming show sa Alveo. It's a condominium. No? So we're inviting condo unit owners kasi nga they also need ano, want artwork sa rooms nila. So it's an opportunity for them to buy. It's also buy Tabula Rasa Blue. This is an acrylic work I did for my show last year. It was all, well, mostly landscapes. Mm -hmm. So this one naman is water work. No? Mm -hmm. So I did a series of 40 small works. That is part of them. I titled... Uh, I titled it Little Things. Little Things. Mga gagmay ng butang. So, this is uh, parang one of the ano doon sa show. So, this is also water. No? It's just like my water exercise. Pero na galahan ako, I had this frame. Mm -hmm. That is also one work I did last year. It's also oil. I titled this, Thy Will Be Done. Thy Will Be Done. Mm -hmm. Kasi surrender na siya. Mm -hmm. Ang katawan niya is punished. Wala wala na siya. This also represents the shroud that Jesus wore. Ah, so the white ano to? Uh, uh, fabric. Covering na rin. Uh, Ito namatay na siya. Mm -hmm. So, Jesus. this has never been exhibited. No? Mm -hmm. Diri pala. Mm -hmm. Pero may plano pa kayo na ipa-exhibit yun? I am not sure if... Uh, actually, gusto ko series of mga these works, mga ganito kalalaki, mm -hmm. mga human figure. Maybe later on. I also have one, well, nude painting. I will bring you there later. I am not sure pa man good sa public on how mm -hmm. they are going to receive these kinds of work. Oh, they will interpret. Some Anita. would consider this as nudity, whatever. True. But, mm -hmm. more number two or whatsoever. So, depending. Yeah. <laughs> so, there is one work doon. Let's go to sa dining area. 
I titled her an island girl. Cherry is three colors. Oh, for the sunset. She's more like an African girl. But I wanted to show na gold and skin niya. Dahil sa sunset. She's very confident. No? Itindig niya and all. Wala ko yung pakialam. Nagkalo lang ko din. Nagsunbating lang ko. So as mentioned po, uh, like sa mga papers niyo, um, when you pick up a brush, when does inspiration start po from like, so like, uh, as seen po sa mga nature po, kung magitingin po kayo sila, does it inspire you or something to create a painting right away po? Or are there any other sources of inspiration when you're creating as the pieces po? You know what, Edgar, it's, it's really random. Sometimes, sa Pinterest or sa Facebook, one picture will, will, will caught my eye. So, it really depends. Sometimes, lakad, kita mong nature, or just particular silya na object. I take a photo, whatever. So, it really depends. Kasi hindi siya parang makina na mag-paint ka lang na. Ah, kasi nga, kailangan mo mag-paint o mag-paint ka. No. Kasi gana ba? Mm. Gana. I don't know saan ang gagaling ba. Pag nandiyan na yung itch na mag-paint, I really have to paint that. Hindi ako mapakali. Hindi ako makatulog. Tulad nito na, katatapos lang, ah, uh, well, natulog ako 2 a.m. na. Kasi gusto ko na siya gawin. Gusto, gusto ko siya gawin. But yung painting pa niya is acrylic pa, di ba? Or is it both? Oil or shine? So matagal po talaga siya mag-dry, no? That is also oil. This one is acrylic, this is oil. So, ano naman, acrylic naman is equally lasting. So, kasi with our technology now, maganda din ang colors na acrylic. Diba? You try it, madali mag-dry, and it's forgiving. Kasi, Kasi uh, pwede ka lang mag-tapal ka lang pag nakaka-delete dili, ka satisfied sa work. So, para personally po, what medium do you use more? Uh, oil or acrylics po? Uh, I prefer acrylics because, yun na nga, madali lang. I mean, madali lang for the cleaning part. <laughs> after water ka lang uh, clean ang brush mo after but for oil kailangan ko mag clean ang turp sa brush mo pero actually it's a matter of ano lang naman I switch lang from time to time kasi pag mabore na ako with acrylics or I oil I sometimes do pastels yung parang crayons oil pastel that one it's oil pastel no, oh, pwede mo siya ismatch. Hmm. Pero pag final na, you can apply fixative naman para ano na siya. So, as mentioned kanina, right? uh, there are moments po talaga na when inspiration strikes, do you consider artists to be like moody po or something? Or like uh, emotional, yung mga daydream or mga imaginative na people? Or... Siguro some extreme. Yes, I can be moody kung well, tao man tayo, anyone naman, no? Kasi mm -hmm. yung mood niya gulo ka, doon ito for sure yung painting of Yes, kasi nga like I, like I was saying earlier, kung nandyan yung itch na kapi na magpinta ka, kailangan mo na siya gawin. Ang ayaw ko lang, yung inay, just like that one. <laughs> Surroundings. Gusto ko quiet. May ibang artist na gusto nila loud music magpinta sila. Okay lang yan. Iba-iba. But ako, dead ano talaga. Quiet. Talaga. Kaya midnight ako kasi walang scorebo, walang phone, walang... You can focus po talaga. Focus ka sa trabaho ko. So, ano po? What is your comment po? Do those artists who use or... His or her talent to show disapproval to the government. Mm -hmm. Parang mga 
typical na ano po na mga hindi ay actually sa mga like for example sa mga rally po di ba mm. meron naman talaga yung mga artists na matawa na ano na mga black and white mm. to show their ano their stance for their ano actually this is a free country no democratic country they are free to show or do what they have to pay no in that ma- for that matter pero ano lang you have to be responsible no hindi lang naman sa art kahit ano naman ang ginagawa mo yeah. it comes with responsibility no kasi ano ba ang maging reaction niyan does it bring peace does it bring war chaos so lahat ng mga actions natin you have to be responsible So, moving on lang po tayo to the next question. As an artist, do you think po na uh, public exhibits of your works is very important po sa mga like for example, sa, sa ano, like, uh, as a first personally sa akin, uh, I don't like having my artworks shown in the back. So, ganun. Do you, yeah. do you think that having art displayed is important to an artist po? Exhibitions kasi will give the artist opportunities no, para ma-discover ang talent. But just like you, there are some who are not comfortable showing their work. Not because they are not confident sa work nila na they think, ay hindi pa ako ready or hindi naman maganda ang work ko or they are just very private person. So, depende pa rin yan sa tao. And you go back. What is your motivation back? Bakit ka nagpipinta? You ask yourself, is it for money? Hindi ba magpinta? Kailan magpera pinta? Hindi ba magpinta? Kasi hobby lang. Diyan sila ma-relax. Diyan sila ma Ang iba magpinta. Ay kasi pinta ang barkada ko. So pinta kami. Di ba? So, go back. What motivates you to do your hobby, painting or not? So personally po, do you think ano po, you help the ano po, um, the young artists to develop their skills po when it comes to painting po? Yes, actually I also do ano, art classes here, pipinta. So kasi some of the guests, kung tapos na sila mag swim scene or amulan na la activity, I offer ano, art session. Pagkatapos ng work, a bit bit nila, may souvenir sila sa art na pininta namin dito. <laughs> so, moving on po sa ano. As mentioned po kanina, di ba you are part of yung sa Davao Artist Federation po. Uh, could you please give like a short background on it po? And kung ano pong ginagawa nila to help sa mga other po, artists po? Mm. Actually, Davi is Davao Artist uh, Federation Incorporated. Kasi, well, we are one of the groups na Ang Davao kasi maraming art groups May Gama, may ano pa, ano-ano mga grupo Ngayon, nakita ng core group Well, it's prohibited by, ano, Bixi Kuya Itong group na ito By the way, Bixi Kuya is also a Toastmaster hmm. Spearhead na, ma-organize ang mga art groups in Davao kasi kanya-kanya lang siya mag-show, kanya-kanya lang exhibit karat. Look at Baguio, look at Bacolod, buhay na buhay ang art groups nila. And ang art scene nila is really moving kasi na-organized. And every year, itong si Daffy or sometimes a combination of two or three groups to show sila. Sa mga exhibit, sa mga exhibit. Sa mga exhibit. And it provides an opportunity sa groups. So, ano po, if the doctors treat patients po and the engineers um, build structures, so what is the role of painter po in the society sa atin po? The role is, personally, it's something for the soul. Mm-hmm. For the soul. Kasi, if you look at art, it will remind you back of the, it may be the simple things, Or for example, uh, still life na works. And just like that one. Simple 
things, but it will make you reflect. Mm -hmm. Pero sa ano naman, sa economy side, art, enrolling in art is to beautify a city, a town, to bring in tourists. Uh, to attract tourists. Attract, to create attraction. And that contributes to our tourism industry. Diba may mga you know what, may mga city or art destinations, they call it. You go to Singapore, there is an art district, for example. So, in Paris, in Paris, yeah. So, may mga ganyang theme na tourist attractions that will really bring in or interest no, sa mga art enthusiasts. And it creates that you know, art economy. They may buy or they may not buy an artwork, but the idea of inuntahan yung city or town, they stay in the hotel, order food, and it adds to the ano, economic activity of any town. So I think that will that is one of the purpose of art, more than ano, the reflection part. Very beautiful answer. So, ano po, um, what is your message for us, um, especially sa mga younger, ano po, sa mga younger generation, sa mga younger generation artists, na siguro sa mga young, ano, generation, take time to appreciate culture and arts. Kasi sometimes, these are the things na neglected lang sa society. And it is our, part of our identity as people, no? And, well, as a Filipino, ano ba yung mga traditions natin? Kultura natin? We always want to be, to become Westerners. We dress up like, like Americans. Bakit? We have to check our local identity. So it is up to us to really preserve our culture and our identity as a people, as a people. So, mahalin natin ang ating ano, sarili bansa. Kasi we cannot be all Americans in one world, no? Come to think of that, no? Our preserving of our dances, local dances, local food. Bakit na mag-hamburger? French fries. Hindi na yung Filipino. Diba? So something we showcase that. So the tradition will uh, continue. So sir, we would like to ano po, show our ano po, gratitude and appreciation for ano po, letting us interview po in behalf of ano, our group, the One Barta, the One B, or also known as One B. We are very thankful po. So thank you for uh, thank you for cooperating with us. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you for visiting. Uh, for sure. yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So yeah, that's all for <laughs>